Okay, so I've joined the prison documentary, and it's about gangs in prisons. Uh, so is there such a truth, such things of truth in documentary? And I think there isn't. It's all the, everyone's perspective. I, the documentary maker, the viewer, everything like that. And here's a little video. Santa Rita Jail near Oakland, California, is the fifth largest in America. Jail can be a world of violent gangs, hundreds of cliques that bring rivalries and vendettas from the streets behind bars. For many, life here means making a choice join a gang or live without protection. You've got to run with somebody. Because if you're out there by yourself, there are sharks watching you left and right. There's, it mainly focuses on the wardens rather than the prisoners. It focuses about two or three prisoners that they actually talk to. And they talk to about 50 guards. So there's not much like, going on. They like show a little bit and for prisoners, but don't actually talk to them. But, and it's all kind of fake because everyone shows up because there's a camera there. So is that really the truth? Um, I think it's kind of scripted as well because there always seems to be a camera there when something goes, when something happens. So I think it's a bit fake. Um, uh, they don't interview the prisoners the same as the wardens. They're all behind glass and separate, and they use a lot of CCTV camera footage, of which I think is a bit more truthful because they get in the whole shot instead of selecting what they want to see. Um, uh, there's a lot of cutaway shots when stuff happens and they always seem to get there just after there's been a fight or and there's like blood on the floor and they're cleaning up but never show what actually happens. The conclusion. Um, I think it's hard to balance them because just watching it you've got already got a side you're gonna pick like the wardens because they're like law rather than the prisoners that have done stuff. Um it's hard to see if it is like balanced or not because no one here has an experience in prison. No one knows what it's like to be in prison. So you can't tell if it's completely made up or if it's quite truthful. Okay, thank you. Alright, Grant, so any questions for James, please? You know the uh, rights that they have in the building, because it might mean that they don't actually burn their prisons out of the judicial law, you know, so you can't speak to them. Yeah. So you know like, the rights they have. I think a lot of it as well is due to the filming and stuff. I mean, you see that a lot of the violence is caught on CCTV. That's probably because like the cameras can't be at around the time, but I guess it's very selective what you can show the videos. But I think the whole CCTV footage um, gives adds another kind of authoritarian aspect to it because it's like we're looking at them through kind of. With, with, with this, the all seeing eye type stuff. Mm -hmm. As in the fact that the prisoners are all kind of perspective of their behaviour. Yeah. That could be the cause of the information. Mm -hmm. They're really like trying to sort of think of themselves, but I don't know what that's saying. Certainly, we're going to start this off and, and what we're going to monetize and mm -hmm. people tattoo their faces. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Regardless of how you feel about tattoos and tattoos on faces, there's still that doubt and social understanding that that is extreme behaviour or apparent behaviour in some way. Some gangs yeah. demand it though. Sorry? Some gangs demand it. Mm -hmm. that is yeah, 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 no, yeah, without doubt. Yeah, what right. I'm saying is, is that to seek that for an audience who doesn't 
to not understand gang culture yeah. and would never get in their face that time. That's, that's automatic. Yeah. So, you know, that's, uh, but then it goes into that montage of fighting and swinging guns around. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your <laughs>